Hello again! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michelle Ferre. I'm a fourth grade teacher in Maryland and I'm also a sponsored FlexPath student at Capella University. It is hard to believe, but I am already two months into my Master's of Education program using the FlexPath learning format. And in my previous update, I had mentioned that my goal was to complete one assessment per week, but I did not really elaborate on what exactly an assessment is, what it looks like, and then how you are graded on it. So in today's video, I just wanted to give you all a little bit more detail. Now I already know what you're thinking. As soon as I say the word assessment, you are probably picturing reading a chapter in a textbook and then taking a test on how well you learn that information. But I can guarantee you the assessments in the FlexPath learning format do not look anything like that. Now, so far, my assessments have either been like a research paper or a narrated PowerPoint presentation. So the actual format of the assessments does vary. What I love about the assessments is that they are completely applicable to my career as a teacher. So what that means is as soon as I learn something in one of my courses, I can take it back to my classroom and immediately apply it to my teaching. So I'll give you an example. Currently, I'm in the process of completing an assessment that actually has me creating a professional development workshop on the digital rights and responsibilities of teachers. And I personally think that that's perfect for me because I am actually the e-coach for my school. Another element of the assessments that I really like is how they are laid out because it is so clear and straight to the point. And I don't know about you, but during my undergraduate program, there were so many times where I would get an assignment and I would look at it and I still would have no idea what I was supposed to do. Meanwhile, FlexPath actually gives you a synopsis of what the assessment will consist of. Then it goes through and it details out every single part of it. So you know exactly what is expected for you. And personally, that really helps to ease a lot of my anxiety when it comes to graded assignments because I'm a huge perfectionist, I will be honest with you, and I really want to make sure that what I am producing meets or exceeds the expectations that were in place. Now, speaking of grades, the FlexPath learning format does not use the traditional A, B, C, and D grades that so many of us are used to. Instead, you are actually graded on a scale. It starts at non-performance and then goes to basic, proficient, and then distinguished. And that really reminds me a lot of my teacher evaluations. Also, once you submit an assessment and you get your feedback, you get your grading scale, then you are able to actually make improvements and resubmit the assessment up to three total times, which is great because then you are focused on actually learning the content instead of just doing an assessment and then moving on from it. You really get to get feedback and then improve based on that feedback. Now, obviously, this entire learning format is very different from traditional coursework, but I will say that personally, I've been able to move at a much faster pace through my courses. I spend less time on the assessments that I already know and understand, and I'm able to spend more time researching and learning the assessments that I don't understand as well. So hopefully this was helpful for you to understand a little bit more about how the FlexPath learning format actually works. As always, if you want to get additional information about FlexPath or about Capella University, you can use the links down in the description box and I will catch you all in the next one.